Now we are at our plate number nine. So in plate number nine, we will be mastering the arc command. So here, what is an arc? An arc is any part of a circle or curve through three known points. So there are actually different ways on how are we going to draw an arc. So basically in this figure that we have, we will be um, experiencing these curves this one so you will learn how to um, draw curves in this figure so here in our CAD we have this arc icon if you expand the panel you can see there are a lot of options so the common one is the three point and you have other options like start center and you have to determine those points so if you um, navigate your cursor on these options you will be given an explanation on how to do it so you can just explore this one but later on we'll try some of these options in our figure okay let's go back to our figure so we have this. To start, let's create a rectangular shape. So we have this, 70, 170, that would be 240, with a width of 50, 60, 50, that's 160. So going to back to our AutoCAD, let's create a line. Pick your first point, then plot the dimension. We have 140. Then we have 160, then we have another 240, and then let's just enter C to close our figure. Now we have a rectangular shape. Now let's draw this one first. So let's offset 15, 30. So we have a 45. Offset this side, we have 45. Then we'll do another offset. We have 15. For this one so we already know the vertical lines now let's have this one so we have a length of 130 so from 160 um, minus 130 we have 30 so divided by 2 we have 15 an offset of 15 here so let's offset but this time 15 same thing 15 Okay, so now, how are we going to draw these curves? <clears throat> so we have a 15, 15. So to do that, let's offset um, a 15 here. So the divided by 2, that would be uh, 7.5. So in here is 7.5. And same here, that's also 7.5. And here is also a 7.5. So we already have this one. Let's do the same here. That's 7.5. So this is going to be our center. So this is 7.5 and 7.5. Where did I get the 7.5? We only divided 15 by 2. So let's have the arc. So I'll be choosing the, the start, center, end. So it, this one... Remember that when you pick your, fir your first point for your start, your center, and your end, always remember that the arc goes um, counterclockwise. So in this case, this will be our start point, this will be our center, and this will be our end point. So you see? Let's do it again. Just click enter. In this side, we'll start here. Now we are at our plate number nine. So in plate number nine, we will be mastering the arc command. So here, what is an arc? An arc is any part of a circle or curve through three known points. So there are actually different ways on how are we going to draw an arc. So basically in this figure that we have, we will be um, experiencing these curves this one so you will learn how to um, draw curves in this figure so here in our CAD we have this arc icon 
If you expand the panel, you can see there are a lot of options. So the common one is the three point and you have other options like start, center, and you have to determine those points. So if you um, navigate your cursor on these options, you will be given an explanation on how to do it. So you can just explore this one. But later on, we'll try some of these options in our figure. Okay, let's go back to our figure. So we have this. To start, let's create a rectangular shape. So we have this, 70, 170, that would be 240, with a width of 50, 60, 50, that's 160. So going to back to our AutoCAD, let's create a line. Pick your first point, then plot the dimension. We have 140. Then we have 160, then we have another 240, and then let's just enter C to close our figure. Now we have a rectangular shape. Now let's draw this one first. So let's offset 15, 30. So we have a 45. Offset this side, we have 45. Then we'll do another offset. We have 15 for this one. So we already know the vertical lines. Now let's have this one. So we have a length of 130. So from 160 um, minus 130, you have 30. So divided by 2, we have 15, an offset of 15 here. So let's offset, but this time 15. Same thing, 15. Okay, so now, how are we going to draw these curves? <clears throat> so we have a 15, 15. So to do that, let's offset um, a 15 here. So divided by 2, that would be uh, 7.5. So in here is 7.5. And same here, that's also 7.5. And here is also a 7.5. So we already have this one. Let's do the same here. That's 7.5. So this is going to be our center. So this is 7.5 and 7.5. Where did I get the 7.5? We only divided 15 by 2. So let's have the arc. So I'll be choosing the, the start, center, end. So it, this one... Remember that when you pick your, fir your first point for your start, your center, and your end, always remember that the arc goes um, counterclockwise. So in this case, this will be our start point. This will be our center, and this will be our end point. So you see? Let's do it again. Just click Enter. So counterclockwise, we're going to start here. Start, center, end. So we have this one. So same thing here. Start, center, end. Start, center, end. So again, same thing. Start, center, end. So we have this figure. Now let's trim. So let's trim this part, trim this part, same here, let's trim this part, and trim this part. Now let's delete the construction lines that we created, same here. Now. We have another one on this side, so let's just use a mirror command for this one. Let's copy this to the center line. We have this to be our reference point. So again, selection window to highlight everything. Type mirror. This will be our reference point. Again, you were asked if you're going to erase the object or not. If you want to erase, yes. But in our case, 
let's choose no because we needed the original figure so click no you can just also click enter so there we have it so we have this one and this one now let's have the other one this going back to your CAD let's copy this one to the center for our reference then let's just extend this one so in our case this curve has a diameter of 60 so let's offset this one 30 30 then 30 then we also have a height of 20 so offset this one with 20 same with this one now in our case we will be using the three point so let's start with here to this point going to this point so you have this one you can use mirror to copy this at this end or you can just do it again so to do that click enter this point this point and this point so there we have it let's delete this construction lines that we created then let's trim this one double enter trim 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 now we already have this so the next thing to do is this one let's create the circle with a diameter of 120 so let's click this center diameter we have our center then you type 120 you have that okay now we have this one now let's create this arc with the day um, with this line second line of 100 so we have a height of 20 so offset this one we have 20 outside same thing with this one now let's let's let us let us extend this line so that this is going to be a reference point for our three point arc then we have again that was 100 so let's offset this one with 50 same thing okay there you have it so again three point if you don't want that to blicker just click um, your polar tracking so again arc three point here here and here so there you have it again let's delete our construction lines delete delete then let's trim this part eri trim there you have it our figure so to check if we really did our part let's put our dimensions so click dimensions there you have it we have 70 for this one this one's 100 let's just snap this one I'll click our ortho because I needed straight lines for this one. Okay, then let's have this one first. We have a 50. This one should be 60. Same here. Then let's have this one. This should be our reference point. Let's just drag it here. There you have it. So we have 20. 20, 50, 60, 50. Now at this side, let's have the 20, 15, and 30. Going back to our CAD. Let's have this 15. We have this 15. 
we also have the 30 and now let's have the 20 for this one 20 for the height of this arc same end We have 20. Oh, we cannot see the 20 here. We can edit this one. We can go higher so that we can see our 20. Your snap. We can turn that off because it just goes blickering. Then, let's have this the 130 dimension 130 okay so there you have it our figure now let's have the angular dimension for our circle let's have the diameter so we have this and that's equivalent to 120 so here's our figure so that's our plate number nine, title arc command. So you know what to do, you know what, how to plot this one in your uh, title blocks.